I'm going to be playing with a FIFA 23 team today. Now you might be wondering, hey Scott, how are you going to do that? Well, the transfer window is now open. We have already seen some massive moves this summer. Others are right around the corner from happening. And some more are heavily rumoured. So we're taking all of this transfer stuff and we're going to make a team that could potentially be possible to use in FIFA 23. So let's get into the squad building. First up, I'm going to fill up a couple of bench players that have not quite made this team for different reasons. And first we have a replacement for one player that is in the team. Adiemi is moving from Salzburg to Borussia Dortmund following the departure of Erling Haaland. His team of the season card is very, very nice. He's going to be a great signing for them. Most likely a future star for the Bundesliga and Germany. Next up is a homecoming and also a throwback to one of the best League SBC cards we've ever had. Back in the old days of the League SBCs, we actually got players for completing them rather than just packs. And this one right here was my personal favourite. Unbelievably good card for Lacazette, who then went on to move to Arsenal, but is now going back to Olympic Lyon on a three-year contract. He has a great foot captain's card, so he is also going to take a slot on the bench. And then this transfer window has already had its own saga. Dating back to January, will he stay? Will he go? That was the question. The main man, Kylian Mbappe. Whilst he did end up signing a new contract to PSG that basically lets him run the club, I feel like it'd be rude not to have him in a team that is based around transfers. Thankfully, his saga is now over and it won't spread over the whole summer, but he has to be in this team. Now to get into the good stuff. Very quickly though, if you want to go and get yourself some coins to afford teams like these, you know where to go. If you guys are looking to get yourself some FIFA 22 coins, then make sure you go and check out Buy FIFA Coins. Team of the season is here. We all need coins. You want some cheap ones? Make sure you use the code BIRD at checkout for a discount. We're going to start off with probably the most outlandish one in this entire team. A man that has been phenomenal for his club for many years now, but is now linked with a Premier League move. Yes, Mr. Jan Oblak has been linked with Newcastle of all teams. And so he is going to be the goalkeeper for us here today. Next up is a bit of a Premier League legend at this point. Has played all the way across a back four for his current club, but there are strong rumours that he's going to be leaving this summer. Cesar Azpilicueta has been at Chelsea for ages and he has won a lot of stuff with them. However, there are very strong rumours that he is moving to Barcelona this summer. Although Sergio Roberto has just signed a new contract, so unless they get rid of Dest, we'll see what happens there. Now, Chelsea, again, are losing even more defenders this summer. However, these are guaranteed. Antonio Rudiger has moved to Real Madrid, and he could very well have been in this team. However, we're going to go with what is looking like his replacement at Chelsea. It's Jules Koundé, who... He's phenomenal on FIFA. He's very good in real life as well. Got himself in the team of the season this year and highly, highly rated. Now, Sevilla have already lost Diego Carlos to Aston Villa. Are they going to lose both of their centre-backs? We'll have to wait and see. But he is going to slot in the team like so. Now we're going to head over to the other side of defence and our left-back and our centre-back are potentially going to be moving from the Serie A to the same Premier League club. We're going with Bastoni as our left centre-back, heavily, heavily linked with a return to Antonio Conte at Spurs. But his left-back partner has already signed that contract. Most likely going to be playing as a left wing-back in the three or five that Conte loves. We're going with the one and only Ivan Perisic. He is hopefully going to light up the Premier League. I have absolutely loved his cards on FIFA throughout the years, so hopefully he gets some banging stuff whilst he's now at Spurs. We now move into midfield and we've got a player that is 100% leaving his current club. However, there's a couple of rumours that he's going to one of two big European giants. It's none other than Paul Pogba. Now, there are strong rumours that he is going to go and link back up with Juventus and go back there on a free for a second time after the pog back 90 mil. Although, recent rumours are saying that if Zidane goes to PSG, then Pogba will go there. 
What an incredible signing it will be for either of those two teams. He's going to slot in at right centre mid. For our left centre mid position, we're going with another French midfielder. This one is all but confirmed, and it's a big one. Chua Many has had a lot of interest from big clubs around the world. Man United were apparently interested. Liverpool were interested, but apparently couldn't quite afford him. He is now going to Real Madrid. They're going to have a midfield three of Valverde, Camavinga and Chuameni taking over from Cruz, Modric and Casemiro. It's just not fair. So he's going to slot in here as a new Real Madrid player. Now I said Oblak was a bit outlandish. This one is as well. However, there are very strong rumours right now that this player's club are willing to let him leave this summer. It's linked to one of the other players. Mbappe is staying, so apparently... Neymar is free to leave PSG. When he moved there, it was one of the craziest transfers of all time and pretty much spiraled the transfer market into what it is nowadays. 200 mil plus, just insane. But he is now linked with Chelsea. Imagine Neymar in the Premier League. It would be phenomenal. So I would personally absolutely love to see it. I want you guys to put in the comments, by the way, which of these do you think may actually happen and which do you think have no chance at all? Let me know. Now our next player has actually announced that he's leaving himself. Despite having one year left on his contract, he's basically said, yeah, I'm off. And it's none other than Lewandowski, who by all accounts, is heading to Barcelona this summer, which is going to be incredible for both Barcelona and Bayern Munich as to how they replace him. But he has said, yep, I can't stay here any longer. Hopefully they won't keep me here because they know that I want to leave. And he's going. So who's going to be his replacement? Well, by all accounts, there's one man that is fitting that slot. He's been coy about his future before the Champions League final. It's none other than Sadio Mane. So we're going to pick up his card for less than 200k right there and slot him in. And wow, what a change that would be to the Premier League. Now, there are a couple of options for this last position. Mane's replacement might be Darwin Nunes. I would have loved to have put some of the Leicester transfer rumours in here, like Awa. However, there was only ever one man that was going to fill this last striker slot. You already know who it is. Erling Haaland is moving to Man City. Well, has already moved to Man City. They just need to get him in the kit and everything like that and do some photo shoots and stuff. But it is confirmed he is moving there for a cut price deal because of his release clause, which is just crazy. Although, the interesting part is apparently in his new contract at City, he's going to be allowed to leave for a, in a couple of years for a cut price fee again. So could we eventually see Mbappe and Haaland at Real Madrid in three years' time? Maybe. So who did I miss out from this squad? Let me know in the comments down below. But we have a bit of a chemistry problem here, so we're going to go into some friendlies with this team in max chemistry mode and see how much fun we can have. Ba -da -ba -da -ba -ba Harland, Harland! What an animal. Probably going to be doing that for Man City all throughout next season. Go on, Pogba. Oh, what a goal from the Silver Star Man himself. Paul Pogba. <gasps> what a challenge. Lewandowski. Neymar. What a finish. Good ball, great challenge though. So there we have it. If all of these transfers go through, who do you think is gonna perform the best at their new club? If you enjoyed this one, thumb it up, subscribe, go and get some coins down below, and I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.